things you need today. If you have a pair of weights that are the same weight, um, that would be beneficial. Um, if you only have uh, one, we can make that work too. Um, and a heavier weight, if you would like, uh, for later. We're actually going to start with our conditioning, which will use lighter uh, two weights. And then we'll have our strength at the end if you want a heavier weight for um, you have that option. Okay. Now I also would need a chair for later in the workout. We're going to do some step ups, something that you can uh, put your weight onto and stand up on. Um, so yeah, take a second to grab that if you need to, if it's not too far away. Otherwise we are going to get our warm up started. So I know I've been sitting for a while. You may have been too. So let's go ahead and get our heart rate up. We're going to bring our feet together and we're just going to jump some rope. Some nice air jump rope. Or if you have an actual jump rope and you really want to, go for it. Otherwise, we're here is the lie down those toes. Get those arms moving as well. And if you want to get fancy, we can do a little side to side. A little front and back. All right, whatever you want to do. We're going to stay here about 10 more seconds. Just get that heart rate up just a little bit. And relax. All right, so we're going to work on our hip hinge. We're going to um, take those feet about hip width apart. We're going to take those hands, put them right on our chest like a uh, like King Kong, right? Squeeze those shoulder blades together and push those hips back, extending those hamstrings into a nice hinge right at the hips. And we're, excuse me, squeeze those glutes and send those hips forward. Now I'm going to do that a few more times. The thing about this is um, kind of multifaceted, stressing out those hamstrings, and we're also working to contract those glutes. Those are our two primary focuses. Then our secondary focus, certainly keeping that back nice and flat and that posture nice and tight in that upper back. Okay, you can hold at the bottom for a couple if you'd like to or just slow descent, quick ascent. We're going to do two more. Good strong hinge, push through and last one, good hinge and push through. All right. Uh, so grab one of your lighter kettlebells here. We're going to warm up some overhead. Um, so depending on what the weight actually is, um, two hands or one hand, we're going to press that weight up overhead, just working to extend those arms all the way up, push that head through that window, bring it back down. We're going to do six of these. Good, strong press. Again, give me a, a quick hold at the top just to make sure that we're fully extended. And again, I have a kettlebell here. If you have dumbbells, you can use dumbbells. Not a problem. You know, one more time here. And we'll relax. And so like I said, we're gonna go ahead and get to our conditioning. It's just gonna be five good minutes. Um, we have four movements, okay? Um, we're going to do alternating rows, so that we're going to have our two light weights. Our alternating rows, it's going to be a nice good hinge down. We're going to pull one, pull the other. All right, just back and forth going to 10, so we end up getting five each side. Our uh, second movement is what we call a log hop. So I'm going to move this out of the way so I have space. Uh, so we're going to put our two weights down. I'm going to stand to the outside. One foot goes over, meets in the middle, goes over again, meets in the middle. So that's, or meets together. That is um, one, all right, coming to the left. And we'll go to the right for two. All right, and then we're gonna do that for 10. Everything's gonna be 10, so it's nice and easy. Five one direction, five back the other way, okay? Um, third movement is gonna need some thrusters, so maybe, um, checking what weight you have, right? So getting those um, weights to those shoulders, dumbbells or kettlebells, squatting down, driving up overhead. All right, again, rep count 
is 10. And then our last movement is going to be uh, those same lateral um, kind of side to side jump ropes that we did. Boom, boom. Just going to be a quick 10. If you want to stand in the middle from one kettlebell to the other, that's what it is. Okay. Um, so just again, a quick 10. Uh, should be super, super fast. Like I said, we're only off for five minutes. Uh, so these movements, you should be getting uh, quite a few rounds in here. So again, um, alternating bent over rows, 10. Those lateral log hops over your kettlebells, 10. Five that way, five that way. Uh, those thrusters, squat and press, 10 of those. And then those quick side to side hops, 10 of those. Five that way, five that way. Okay? Five minutes on the clock. We'll go ahead and get it going. Give you a second. If you need to set up your space and grab some weight, test out a couple weights. We'll give you about 15 seconds or so before we start. Just make sure our, our time is nice and squared up. All right. And we'll be with you the whole way, so don't you worry about it. So let's get down, get ready. In three, two, one, and go. Pulling those kettlebells up in that row. Don't have to worry about coming super fast out of the gate. If you need to take some time and kind of warm up into it, you can. All right. Staying light on those toes, on those log hops. On through four. Nice and light. Four, five. And then we're getting right up into those thrusters. Make sure that we're using those legs. Help press up. Side to sides. Just a quick little rest movement. So we're right over a minute on a round on that one if you're staying with me. So I should be able to get four rounds in here. I want you cycling back and forth through as best you can. Getting all those rounds in there. Staying controlled on those rows. Make sure that back is strong. So you know what to expect this second round. So I want to make sure you're looking good, right? Staying strong. So that if you notice, make sure you get those knees high up over those kettlebells, right? As we do those lateral hops, nice and light on those toes. You know, back up for those thrusters. Still with me? Still strong? Let's do it. All the way to 10. Two minutes left, folks. All right. We're going to try to keep pushing through this time limit. We'll take a, well, plenty of time to rest at the end. We're going to try to stay strong and finish these last couple minutes. Bringing that heart rate down into those rows. doing staying strong back there yeah 90 seconds folks I'm try to finish this round nice and light stay on those toes all right here 
here's the saucer's final minute. Try to get through these 10, those 10 hops, and wrap it up. doing 30 seconds and yeah, right back into it topping off this last round these last 15 seconds the last three two one and time all right, I'm gonna take a quick breather, grab some water, let that heart rate come down. We're gonna transition into our strength in just a minute. I don't know if you're breathing hard. I'm certainly breathing hard. That was a good five minutes. Well, we are not done yet. Let's talk about our strength. All right, I'm gonna put this guy away. So we have four movements to worry about with strength. We're gonna take them one by one, so we're all on the same page. So this first one, you might, you might wanna stick with something a little bit lighter. Um, <clears throat> so we're gonna to call it a bridge press. Not something that I've ever done in my classes. Um, but you may have done it on your own or with another coach. But if you've been with me, this is new. So we're gonna get that kettlebell up and we're gonna get in position as if we were going to do a, um, uh, we call it a chest press. <laughs> there you go. Uh, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna drive those hips up, squeeze those hips, and then press that kettlebell. Okay, so we're gonna come back down, come back down, press those hips up, press that kettlebell, back down, back down. All right, so we're gonna go for eight there. I want you to make sure that you're in that bridge before you press that kettlebell, and then, or that dumbbell, and then bring that weight down, and then bring those hips down, all right? There's five, I want you to take this at a good steady pace, thinking they're kind of being machine-like, all right, on a timer as you go for a final rep here. Press, press, down, down. Once you get eight, go ahead and switch those hands. Body position is going to remain the same. It's going to be the same bridge, just pressing with the other side. All right, working a little bit of that core holding those obliques nice and stable as we press with a single arm. Oops. All right, press those hips up first and then press, lower that weight and then lower those hips. I'm gonna say I can't get too fast. Has to be nice and rhythmic here. We got two more this side. Really making sure that we're squeezing the glutes at the top of those reps, and relax. All right, next move on, we're gonna hop up to our feet. I wanna grab something just a little bit heavier for me, but whatever you have, you're good with. So this is gonna be a combination movement of a swing and a squat. All right, so a swing and a goblet squat. So if you have dumbbells, you can still do this. You're just gonna grip the head of your dumbbell uh, if you're just using one hand. You can use two, two dumbbells in two hands, uh, do some skier swings if you like as well. Uh, anyways, what this is gonna look like, we're gonna push into a swing, we're gonna pull into a squat. All right, push into a swing, pull up into a squat. All right, so we're gonna do eight of those one swing to one squat. 
Want to make sure that we're really driving through with those hips. And getting fully extended at the top of each squat. Got two more here. Let's get all those. And take a quick break. I'm gonna pull that chair over. This so next movement, like I promised, we're gonna do some step ups. All right. So we're gonna use that chair. We're gonna take a front rack position. So whichever weight that you're using, go ahead and get that up on one side. Whatever weight or whatever side that weight is on, we're gonna use the opposing leg. So this is my right hand. I'm going to step up with my left leg into a nice little balanced position. Step back down, step back down. Right, I'm going to do all eight on the one side. This one I want you to slow down a little bit. Take your time. Find that balance. Bring that heart rate back down. We are definitely moving it. Use the weight that you feel comfortable with that challenges you. Yeah, one more to the side if you're with me. And we'll switch and go right into the other side for another good eight. Now I want you to really focus on pushing through that front foot to step up. All right, try not to jump off that back foot like I know a lot of us do. All right, put that weight into that front foot and drive through. All right, if you're with me, we've got two more. How's that heart rate going? Still a little high? That's me expected all right last one i want to do some overhead press some single arm overhead press i know we did a little bit with those thrusters that was just kind of our warm-up so here's the actual one um you can shirk press you can push press whatever your comfort level is making sure that we're getting that bicep to that ear those abs are nice and tight pulled in and we're going to go eight on the one side and eight on the other. So be very confident about that posture. Make sure that we're not arching backwards when we press. Nice neutral head. Yeah, last one on this side. All right, then we're gonna go to that other side. So, and I'll talk about that biceps and ear. Nice straight line from the tip of the fingers to the tip of those toes. I like to keep my hand on that belly button just to help to remember to engage those abs, engage that core. If you notice that tempo that that kettlebell is coming down, it is the same tempo as that kettlebell is going up. I right, try to control against gravity on that descent for all eight of those reps. All right. Once you feel good, finishing up those overhead presses, we're gonna go back down to our bridge and get a little bit of that chest press action. So where that overhead press is a very vertical press, vertical upper body press, we're gonna get a little bit of that horizontal press with this bridge chest press combo. Still going for eight. All right, notice these are gonna be a lot more slowed down than that first block of conditioning that we had with that five minutes of hectic movement. Now we're nice and controlled 
making sure every piece of that body is exactly where we want it to be, doing exactly what we want it to do. Now two more this side. If you're ahead of me, if you're behind me, please go at your own pace. Don't feel the need to catch up or stay up with me. All right, you move at the tempo that is most comfortable for you while still focusing on the movement and not just getting through the movement. All right, we're looking to promote strength here. And we're gonna do that with control. Maybe like a lot of us, without a full span of weights. So you may be a little bit limited in your options. So we're teaching you how to use the most of that weight. And tempo is gonna be a huge factor. Lots of focus. As we drive through for our final one on this side. And roll it on up. All right, a few minutes left. We're going to finish this round. <clears throat> Here goes those swing squats. Hopefully you got a feel for it coming from the first round. Adjust weight that is necessary. Moving at your own pace. Eight swings to squats. Very active in those hips. Good, stable feet. Make sure we're punching into the ground. Whole foot, not just the heel, not just the toes, but again, that whole foot. Two more here. All right, we're gonna go into those step ups. A little second for that blood to come back. All right, flowing through that whole body. Let's go right into those step ups. Eight each side when you are ready. Again, focus on trying to find a little bit of a balance at the top of each one. Nice, tall, upright posture each time. Uh, one thing to note, a lot of times I see people getting really far away in that step. You can stay close to that chair, just step right up. I don't feel like you need to really overextend yourself. Just get a comfortable a distance away from that chair that you're able to just put that whole foot up there without lunging onto it. Just stepping up like you would climb stairs. Put just maybe two, three steps at a time here. How's the balance doing? Staying up there. Just remember, finding that control even when that fatigue starts coming. Help that neuromuscular system handle a lot. Got two more. Last one. And down. All right. Last little bit here. About a minute remaining. We're going to finish up. These eight presses on the right side, eight presses on the left side for that overhead. And again, if that fatigue starts coming in, we need to use those legs a little bit. Please feel free to use those legs. Nice and strong. Still getting that bicep to that ear. Still keeping that same consistent tempo on the up and on the down. Eight on one, flipping over. Last eight presses. 
Keep it going. Locking out that overhead, making sure that we're fully extended, right? Getting a good extension through the elbow, getting those triceps involved. Now, last two press. And time there. All right, if you got a few more reps, go ahead and finish that up. Appreciate you folks coming out, doing a little bit of equip some strength training, a little bit of conditioning. Hopefully, you had a good workout. If you're hanging around, we'll be back for strength flow. Um, final one of my strength flows for 2020. So if you're around, come and check us out. Otherwise, have a great evening.